Hi friends, welcome back to story time. I hope you've all been enjoying the nice warm weather. Boy, was it ever warm on the weekend. I hope some of you got out to the splash park or the swimming pool to cool off a little bit. Uh, starting next Monday, we will have out a Father's Day craft, so you can just come and grab one of those if you like. And pretty soon is Summer Reading Club, so we'll be doing a little bit of promo and advertising for that. And anybody can join that, any age, even if you don't know how to read. Mom and Dad can read to you for that. And you can put your names in for some nice, fun prizes. So today we're going to talk about monsters. Nobody's afraid of monsters, are they? We know they're not real, right? Monsters won't hurt us and they're not real. So these books are really silly monsters that I actually have today. So they won't scare you at all, I don't think. And this one's called, There's a Monster in Your Book. He actually looks like a cute little monster, doesn't he? <clears throat> oh no, there's a monster in your book. And he's tearing the pages. Let's try to get him out. Is he eating the pages? Are you supposed to eat a library book or any book? No. Okay, shake the book and turn the page. I'm going to shake. Shake with me, everybody. Shake, shake, shake. Let's turn the page and see if he's still there. Nice try. That knocked him over, but he's still in your book. Tickle his feet and then turn the page. Okay, here we go. Tickle, tickle, tickle. That didn't work. He's just laughing and still in your book. Try blowing him away. Okay, everybody, take a deep breath and we're going to blow together. Blow. Really hard and let's turn the page. Is he there? He's still there. That's better. Now he's far away. But he's still in your book. Tilt the book to the left. What do you think is going to happen? Is he going to fall over? Oh, I put, did I tilt the book the right way? No, I didn't. This way. I'm going backwards with my camera. Okay, tilt the book to the left. Now he's over here, but still in your book. Tilt the book to the right. Let's see, there he goes. He's hanging on. What a naughty little monster. Give the book a good wiggle. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Good, now he's back over there, but he's still a monster in your book. Try spinning the book around and around. Oh boy, how's that gonna go? Around and around and around. Let's see, is he gonna be dizzy or out? Oh. Look, he's dizzy. Quick, make a loud noise. What kind of loud noise could we make? Are you going to help me? How about we make a big roar and just yell at him. Rah! Oh, it's working. He's running away. Make that noise again, but louder. Ready? Help me out, guys. Rawr! He's gone. There isn't a monster in your book anymore. Now he's in my room. Quick, call him back. Monster, come back, monster. Look, here he is. He's coming back. Oh, he's poking through the pages. Keep calling him. Monster, come here, little monster. Phew, he's back in your book. You don't want a monster loose in your room. This book is probably the best place to keep him. That's probably true. Monster, you can stay here in this book. Pet Monster's head and say good night. Good night, Monster. Oh, he's yawning. He's going to go to sleep. Shh. Look, he's fast asleep. Gently close the book so he doesn't wake up. There he is. Now the monster's back in your room and having a nap. Alrighty. 
Now, I'm sure you've all read the story, Go Away, Big Man Green Monster, right? That's a good one, too. I don't have the story, but I have a funny-looking puppet that looks like the big green monster. I'm trying to figure out which hand it'll work best on. Maybe this one. There's my big green monster. Look at him. Have you ever read that story? All right. This is Big Green Monster has two big yellow eyes. He has a long bluish greenish nose and a big scary red mouth with sharp white teeth. He has two squiggly ears and purple scraggly hair and a big scary face. But Big Green Monster doesn't scare me. Go away, big yellow. Oh, wait, I gotta leave the eyes. Go away, squiggly ears. Go away, purple scraggly hair. Go away, long bluish greenish nose. Go away, big red mouth. Go away, sharp white teeth. Oh, what do we have left? Just his eyes. Go away, big yellow eyes. Okay, go away, big green monster. And don't come back until I say so. Our big green monster is gone. Okay, one more quick story. And this is a funny one. This is about another monster in the book. Do not open this book. We sure have a lot of monsters loose in the library these days, don't we? Wow. Alrighty. <clears throat> oh, you opened the book. I assume that was an accident. No problem. Accidents happen. I'm not even angry. Just please don't turn the page. Should we turn the page? You think so? Okay, he told us not to. What on earth? You turned the page. Did you hear me okay? I'll put it down as a simple misunderstanding, but I'll just say it once more very clearly. Please don't turn the page. What do you think, guys? I'm kind of scared of him. He's kind of ugly. Let's see. What are you doing? I told you, do not turn the page. And you definitely heard me. Look, I was very reasonable when you opened the book. But this is too much. Whatever you do, please don't turn the page. Oh my goodness, he's getting a little crazy now. Should we listen? <clears throat> what do you think? No, we shouldn't. I don't know. Okay, this might be your fault then. You did it again. Are you not listening? Are you not thinking straight? Now you're in danger. My goodness, he's getting upset. His face is all red. I'm telling you as a friend that you definitely don't want to see what's on the next page. A young boy saw it once and his hair turned white with fear. Whatever you do, please don't turn the page. He does look pretty scared, doesn't he? I think we should just stop right here and close the book. What do you think? Do you think we should really turn the page? Do you want white hair? I get white hair lots of times, but I'm old. Do you young people want white hair? Okay, you said so. Okay, okay, I lied about the boy's hair turning white. Yeah, our hair didn't turn white, did it? I'm sorry I lied. But you don't understand. You must stop what you're doing. Seriously, if you turn the page, I'll never speak to you again. Never, ever. Please don't turn the page. Well, do you mind if you speak to this monster again? He's kind of being rude too, isn't he? Although he is saying please, that's, that's being polite. Do we care if we see monster again? Or do we just want to see what's on the next page? Let's turn. Oh, humph. He's not talking to us. He's mad at us. 
Now he's really getting mad. He's turning red again. <coughs> and he's walking away. And look at his face. It is beet red. He is angry at us. Arr, you turned the page again. Even after I gave you the silent treatment. Right. I'm going to tell your parents exactly what you were doing unless you put this book down immediately. I mean it. Please don't turn the page. Oh my. He's going to tell our parents. What do you think? Should we, should we try? Should we try anyway? Let's see what's going to happen. Wow. Okay. I warned you. Now I'm calling your parents. Mom, Dad, your child kept turning the pages. He must be punished. Send them to their room. No dinner for a week. Confiscate all books, including this one. Ha! See? I told you to stop turning. Oh, see how you go turning the pages now, he says. Now he's told Mom and Dad. We're in trouble. Oh, good golly, you cannot be stopped. Please, please don't turn another page. See, I'm crying now. I'm begging. It's serious. If you get to the end of this book, I'm done for. Oh, he is crying. Should we stop? I kind of feel sorry for Monster. Don't you? I'll do anything you want. I'll get you gold. You want a flying car? I'll make one for you. Just please don't turn the page. A flying car. I didn't know there was such a thing. Right. Seems like you can't be reasoned with. So go ahead. Turn the next page. That's actually what I want you to do. Seriously. Turn it. Now he's telling us to turn. Well, guess we should then. We started working on the flying car though, see? Look at that. I tried putting some wings on it. No! I was trying to trick you, but it didn't work. You must not turn the last page. Something awful will happen. You see, I once met a terrible witch who told me if anyone made it to the last page of this book, she'd turn me into a frog. So please, please don't turn the page. He doesn't want to be turned into a frog. You think so? I don't think he can turn into a frog. Oh, thanks a lot. There he is. Turned into a frog. Now he's just got big shoes. <laughs> that was a cute story. Okay, guys, that's it for this week. But like I said, next, starting next Monday, you can drop into the library and pick up a craft kit for Father's Day. Bye, guys.